So when you get hit, where do you end up? Hmm. This isn't somewhere I can climb, right? Whoa. There's so many interesting things happening in this dungeon. It's really well made, I've got to say. Maximera. So many new enemies, too. I'm loving this place, I've got to say. This is exactly what I want out of a, an optional dungeon. An endgame dungeon. Enemy designs are cool as well. Level 89. 32,000. These guys are not playing around, man. I think for that reason, I'm going to haste her. Stone gaze. Yeesh. Yeah, can't take this one lightly. I feel like elementally they're going to be pretty strong. There's a chance it could be absorbing multiple elements, so I've got to be very careful. I prefer to attack non-elementally against these guys. I try a gravity just to see if there's a cheap way to work that. For God's sake, gravity and ultimately. Try the air anchor. So yeah, gravity didn't work either. So the, the cheap stuff doesn't seem to really be working, but we'll keep trying. It's always good to know if you've got like a one hit KO you can pull out. Yeah, okay, I think we could poison it. But yeah, this is definitely much more like it. I mean, this is just a random encounter, so... That looks pretty good to me. So I guess that means if you get flung down to make it back, you have to defeat whatever the hell that thing is. Right? Or it's a more hard barrier and you actually can't go across it. So you can heal in the menu now as well, much more easily. Right, let's see what this situation is. Earth Eater. Ooh. Smug it. Okay, hold on. Ooh. I remember that Megaton Punch very well. Arise. And... I keep forgetting if Quick plus Dual Cast gives you, like, four moves or not. For now, let's just protect. But yeah, there's not much I can do against Megaton Punch, so I don't know if there's much value in trying to to buff here, but we'll see. But yeah, when that boss battle music plays, you know shit's going down. Libra in, and then I think one more protect. Again, Earth Eater I faced very recently. 
So I guess a lot of the like, um, I'm thinking though, did the Game Boy Advance version come out after Final Fantasy X? I think it might have. I was going to say like maybe a lot of the Final Fantasy X original creations were inspired by monsters from Final Fantasy VI in name, but I, it might have come out afterwards, so I can't say that with any kind of certainty. Celes has been stuck for a while here. Yeesh. I don't know if Megaton Punch is just a, a counter, by the way. It might be. Level 97. 36,000. Once again, the Achilles heel. Weak against Holy. Okay. Um... I guess that means we've got to make these moves count. I think one thing worth doing is maybe giving a couple of re-raises here. Yeah, so it seems to counter everything with, with Megaton Punch. It's normal attack we can deal with, but obviously Megaton Punch. Unless you've got instant death protection, which maybe nobody here has, I don't know. You can't really hang with it. But once again, it, it is three Ultimas away. Sorry, four Ultimas away. So, I'm not hugely concerned. At this stage, I'm only going to attack with Ultima. I'll wait for Sellers. I think after this, I maybe need one more Ultima, and then it should be done. Oh, no, okay, good. But yeah, very similar to the to the one we meet in Final Fantasy X. With the Megaton Punch. Okay, good. Ah, oh, I took two steps. I wanted to heal, for God's sake. Whoa, level five death. Yeesh, missed everybody. Let's try that quick arise. I mean, look at how cool these enemy designs are, though. <laughs> they look brilliant. I do have to say, this style, I think, probably ages better than, like, the Final Fantasy VII style. There is something timeless about these, these sprites. Yeah, this thing was an arsehole. I don't think we've got a successful steal against it at all, so let's keep trying. High ether. Okay, that's pretty good. Ouch. Let's try a holy, see how that works. I don't think anyone's got petrification protection here. But especially with 1 MP cost, I'm just going to go nuts with Ultima at this stage, I think. Unless it's like an actual boss battle, then I'll probably try not to do it as much. But for that one, because of Megaton Punch, I just couldn't be bothered to do like stuff that did 1,000 damage and have to arise like 30 times. But you've got to be careful here. Not get everybody petrified. Is 
So it gets three moves in a row there. Yep. So it is deadly. Again, if you're not using big moves to do big damage here, it, it is pretty deadly. But it's a good thing that I took the Moglulu charm off so I could get to fight these guys as well. It's a unique set of enemies. But you can see, as it starts like becoming repetitive, you just want to bring out the big guns. Just get it done. I do wonder what happens to experience. I don't think I've ended a battle with petrified characters that I can recall. So let's see if he gets split up more here. 2,500. I'm not sure. I'll have to try and keep a mental note of that. These guys are still petrified, so... I should have brought some more gold needles, but thankfully I've got... I've got a Sunna here that I can still use for 1 MP. Again, I don't know whether to go left or right here. I'll take this side first. Oh, God. Uh. Damn it. Bye bye. I'm going to try and see if I can equip something that protects some instant death. Since it's going to be a boss battle, I'll change it again. I'll see if... Do I have one more that protects against instant death? I think I'm going to give someone a ribbon. So, hold on. I'll swap here. Whoever's got a ribbon. It's nice that you can juggle between these things as well. So, we'll change this to a, to a ribbon. So, that should be two people that are immune to, to death, at least. And that should probably help. I don't know if it's just going to be the same enemy or it's going to be a different one, but we'll find out very soon. Here we go. What might you be? Gargantua. Oof. Uh... Now, only thing I'm thinking, it might have some magnitude 8 kind of shit happening. So... Should I float? Depends how many of us have floats. I don't think so for now. So let's try and get those quicks in quick. And then from there, I think I'm going to go for triple float if I can. Hopefully this guy doesn't have some kind of 50 Gs move as well. Try and get in as many moves as we can. I think it was a preemptive strike, actually. Have a flirt. Oh, wow, he's run out of MP already. Sheesh. And it should just be Sellers left. And that should be everyone. So hopefully if he tries to pull some Magnitude 8 shit, I should be ready for it. Um. 
So it really went in on the buffs this time. Before we get started. Gargantua hasn't even moved yet. Not even a move. Protect the boys. No Libra for you, huh? Uh, okay. Let's see how we do. Did I not use flow on the little guy? Okay, I did. Right, here we go. Quad nine, evil eye. I don't know what that did, if anything. So this one likes to counter as well. Let's get that Libra in. Then get our first Ultima going. Okay, level 85, 30,000. Oh, it's only got 9,700 left already. Oh man, weak against poison. Man is gonna die now. <laughs> we did all of them buffs for nothing. God damn it. Oh well. Someone make a mod of just like just do it for the dungeon bit, mod everything with like ten times as much HP, like the boss battle specifically. It'll make a big difference. Right, there's another one up there. Thankfully this thing's a one-hit KO, so it's a quick... He's such an arsehole though, he comes in with a very quick... Um, level 5 death. So theoretically, he could instant game over you if everyone's at like level 50. And you don't have instant death protection. I've still got float status by the way, it carries it on across battles. There's a lot of... Impressive things to defeat here. Okay. Wow. So let me just have a double check here, make sure everything's all good. Okay, let's keep going. Fighting more of these flame boys. Malbro Menace. Ooh. We do have a ribbon, thankfully. Thankfully. Should I get straight in with Fire Rod and try and blast this thing out? Maybe. Aha! Bad breath, finally! Oh, but only hit one character? Is that how it works? What on earth? Yeah, you're seeing a lot of names that you're familiar with from the Final Fantasy X Monster Arena, which is fun. Whoa! Okay, this is getting interesting now. They keep bad breathing um, Mog, and Mog's handling it for now. Level 92, 15,000, weak against fire. I'm still gonna bombard them with fire. Everything they've used is missed so far, which is weird, but okay. Still missing. Okay, the normal attack was fine too. It'd be funny because that means I still technically haven't been hit with a bad breath because it's missed both times. That'd be pretty funny. 
But it looks like there's room on the screen for two more Malbro, so I don't know if they could multiply even more. Yeah! Ooh wee! Okay, we've got a battle now. I did say there was room for two more. Now you're gonna see some bad breath goodness here. Okay. And then Fire Raga they ass. I think he'll do more damage with Fire Raga as well. In this particular situation. It sort of recovers everything except Imp, so that's not too bad. So we finally got hit with uh, with a bad breath. All it took was four Malbro menaces to do it. We do have instant death protection though. Okay, one is dead at least. And now I can use a rise. Now this is a good battle though. Stick with the fire ragas here. I mean, they do have 15,000 HP, but because there's so many of them, I think that definitely levels out. So you see what a difference it can make already. Nice. Poor Celis, we're taking out again. But there you go. So that was good. We're really starting to fill out the best jury now. 86%. Steal a high potion. Wow, that sucks. Weak against fire. We need to... Hmm. I don't think it's immune to, to death. I've got to try and keep banishing mine next time. Oh, it drops a growth egg. Wow. This one's not immune to confuse either. So I've got to try and keep a note of these. Yeah, I think this one can be confused as well, potentially. Yeah, okay. I will try to remember, I'll probably forget, but I'll try not to. In case I encounter them again. I might not, they might just be one-time bosses for this particular area, but... Death Rider. It's called Death Rider, but I don't think this is going to be one I can take out using the Phoenix down. I'll try it anyway, but I don't think so. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. At this stage, I'm just going to equip the Mog Lulu charm again for a bit. So all it took was getting hit by one of those arseholes, and I've been thrown into another part of this cave slash labyrinth and there's like two of them here it does look like there's only one way out okay safety bit okay let's keep going this team has to be the the one to to do all of this hard work against these guys what have we got now dark behemoth that sounds tough. I'm going to keep the whole team in float here. I cannot believe she doesn't have float. Ridiculous. Okay. Start with this usual stuff. Heave! Let 
level 91, 38,000. All the MP, weak against fire. Weak against holy. Now, a couple of times we had things where they weren't immune to death or confusion, so I might play around with that. So we'll try a few of those moves, uh, like Banish. Go for a few cheap ones, and then we'll go for a Noise Blaster 2. Okay, hold him firm. Gravity as well, give that a go. Yeah, then I think that's about it. We could try and slow as well, I guess, if we have it. It's worth a shot. Wow, that's quick, took ages. Since we already have quick, we could Osmos and then fire off something else. But yeah, once we get into this kind of state where we've got haste and we've got quick, like, we're getting so many turns compared to the enemy that it's very hard for it to keep up. Okay, gravity worked. That's interesting. I'm going to stick a couple re-raises on just in case. I get paranoid about these things sometimes. Especially with one MP cost now, it's just, just go for it. I do love the way that they've constructed this place. It's it's been one of my favourite post-game Final Fantasy places that I've that I've been in for a long time. Yeah, so I think it's dead now. And it's throwing a final meteor. Let's see the damage. Okay, there you go. You see, that's why I had re-raised as an insurance policy. Excellent. Obtain Phoenix down, come on. That sucks. Okay. Still doing well here. Might as well take them all on. Actually, wait, there were two there. Oh, wait, there you go. Go straight in for the next one. Abyss Worm. Yeah, it's literally the Fire Fantasy X. Monster Arena crew. That's pretty cool, man, considering that that's literally what I've been playing uh, most recently, other than Final Fantasy VI in terms of Final Fantasy. That's pretty dope. Well, just because this strategy... Ah, uh, here you go. Yeah, it was only her that took damage. Yeah, I was going to say, just because this strategy has been working well so far with all the quick and that kind of stuff, doesn't mean I'm going to stop using it. Not for sellers, though. I just feel like four turns is a bit, it's a bit crazy. I think we can manage without. I was not having that. Um...
There we go. Now we're all floating. We have not had one successful steal this session so far. Okay, level 91, 34,000. Seems about the standard for these guys. They have more MP than HP, it just blows my mind. Fifty G's, there you go. Yeah. But that's just a move that that's just a move that you can't There's nothing you can do about that, right? I don't think there is. Shockwave. Okay, the the damage isn't particularly heavy at the moment at least. That's it. Shove in a re-raise, just in case. At least we're getting to see some moves here, though. Like, they've got enough resilience to, to show you their repertoire. Unless you just totally spam, but... That's no fun. Yeah, thankfully, like, the damage isn't insane. So we can keep up. But that 50 Gs thing was how they obviously took me out. That's it. That's how the Earth Dragon took me out. Arsehole. Oh man, stumbled. That's a shame. I went to use a, a dance for once, but... Let's finish this. Gravity Bomb. Definitely has a, a repertoire though. There you go. So we're still a little too strong for these guys. But it's enough to it's enough to, to keep us on our toes and not be a, a pushover. Okay, I'm getting that Moglulu charm back on. I need to get out of here. Okay. Surely now. This is the way out. There you go. I'm back. Okay. 